This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Yo, what is good guys? It's your boy Dixon from Intuitive Designs. Today, I'll be redesigning some merch for Jake Harlow. If you don't know who that is, he is a rapper and he's been popping up lately on TikTok. Also, he's got a new album dropping soon. So I thought, why not do some merch for this guy? Because he's definitely needs some help on that. Anyway, this is going to be a good one, guys. So make sure you stick until the end. So this is the merch that they are selling right now and I don't see that many shirts for the new album other than this one. I kind of get this feeling that they are not putting much effort into his merch. I don't know why but you can see that it's all pretty generic stuff you know at least from a designer standpoint. I mean it's not bad obviously not trying to bash the guy but you know it's just generic stuff. So I brainstormed some ideas and decided to turn his merch game into something like this. As you can see, it's got that cactus plant flea market vibe. So a lot of primary colors on bright shirts. I kind of want to experiment with designs like this because I've gotten bored on what I usually do, which is just photo bashing on Photoshop. So I kind of want to do something different this time around. I'll be using this hand-drawn horror elements pack that I made myself. Uh, some of them are free for download on my website. Yes, it is completely free even for commercial use. So download links below guys, go check it out. As usual, like this video so YouTube algorithm know what's up. Otherwise, I won't be able to give out free stuff ever again. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's start with the first design. Right, so I've decided to use only two of these illustration sets from that hard pack that I told you guys about just now. I'm gonna go with this skull illustration here and then just add a few other elements around it, kind of like going in a circle. Uh, for now, it's all just experiment, so let's see. For this one, I'm gonna go with the cream slash light brown color background. I've also pre-selected a set of colors already, so I'll just stick to them for reference. Like I said earlier, there's a lot of primary colors, so it's gonna be quite vibrant. Also, I'm designing this with the motive to print this on a hoodie instead of a shirt, so you probably see some unusual placement, I mean the elements placements here and there. As you can see, it is quite simple to design something like this with just some really basic technique. You can get away with some really bad sketches even as long as it is aesthetically pleasing. So you're gonna nail down your colors and then the assets you're gonna use beforehand. But yeah, this is what I got so far. I might do some more changes to it later, but now I'm sketching the name freehand with just, I mean with no graphic tab, it is 100% just a mouse. So guys, my plan for the second design is using the initials of Jack Harlow as the main element. But before that, here's a quick word from today's sponsor, Envato Elements. 
I've talked a lot about bottle elements over the year and there's no day go by when I don't hop in there and get some assets like this, 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 and even this. And bottle elements really is the ultimate toolbox for us graphic designers with more than 50 million assets to download at the click of a button. You can easily select the category from the search bar type in what you need and from there you can filter your search by colors and even orientation my personal favorite on the platform is the 3d gallery where you can get literally anything for your design project what's even better about it is you can choose the angle and then download it as png or psd file with the bottle elements you get unlimited downloads with only one subscription so click the link below now to get 50 percent off on annual subscription giving you total access for just 16 dollars and 50 cents per month now back to the video. I feel like the letters are too clean to fit the aesthetic that I want. So in a minute, I'll use the ink blade effect to kind of add some more grunge to the letters and maybe to the overall design. But yeah, the colors are pretty much set. I do like the yellow green combo though. I feel like it really sets the tone of the design. But yeah, after that, I'll use my hard pack for the secondary elements. Now that it's done, I can start adding some illustrations to the design. Same step as the first one. I mean, same technique as the first one. I'll just keep adding and placing the elements until I find one that balances everything out. So yeah, let's see. I'm struggling a bit there on the color choices for the design elements so I'm taking a break on that and just you know just move on to the text for now uh, for the text though I'll stick to a font instead of hand drawing it like the first design I kind of want to add an edgy contrast to it so that this one feels more rigid but still aesthetically similar to the first design This is the design so far and I kind of want to commit to this brown color on the outer illustrations but honestly I can't decide whether to keep it brown or change it to white because I feel like both of them look good either way. So yeah I'll settle that later and let's move on to the final design. Third and final design will be printed on an off-white hoodie slash tee. For this one, I want to keep the design structure a bit conventional, so no illustrations scattered um, here and there, but no promises on that, obviously, because I don't have any idea. 
um, yet on how to you know structure the whole design but yeah colors have been pre-selected same as before again i'll be using the hard pack and then test out a bunch of them Once again, I've decided to hand draw the text in the design. For this one though, I kind of want to make it bold and chunky. I think that's the right word for it. But yeah, it is coming along quite well, although I'm still not sold on the colors. I feel like this bright blue is a bit too loud. But yeah, I'll experiment more on that in a bit and mock everything up and show you guys the final result. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. It is not my usual style, but I'm actually quite happy with the result. If you want to see me tackle other design style, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss out on my videos. I give out free stuff every single week. Follow me on TikTok for more content. Stay safe and see ya.